Alright, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck, Happening YouTube Atheist Community and Tiny Chat um, Conversation Fun. Yeah, I don't know if that, that qualifies. Anyway, um, <clears throat> this will do um, bookkeeping first. Um, so there is a video posted on the Draft Science channel on uh, the two slit experiment. And uh, if you have some counter argument for the theory proposed, I would be interested, um, but of course it has to be something rational and relevant, um, which some people are incapable of. Um, so that's bookkeeping. So link included with the other links, the MP3 of last night. So last night we did talk a lot of physics, um, yeah, mostly. Uh, and I yelled uh, regarding some economics crap, you know, debt is bad, okay. People can't seem to understand that. Which seems ironic that they can't understand that. They, they really do think that they're going to win the game by paying the rich man interest on everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? You, you can't. Uh, people are just too stupid. And speaking of too stupid, Hoffa Day did make a video that will require a response. Um, made three videos, actually. And. Um, Oh, he's just such a perfect example of some asshole who doesn't make a counter-argument and just ad homs all over the place. And because he doesn't do it with the word skanky cunt, sometimes, somehow it's okay. Um, it's just, you know, he, he just wastes my time with just insult after insult after insult. He doesn't make a counter-argument. His counter-argument to the, the, the proposal that life is... Um, <laughs> that the evidence seems to indicate um, that life is um, excessively, um, unacceptably messy um, to a thinking, rational mind capable of discerning the limits. Obviously, most people aren't capable of discerning those limits, you know, because most people will live and they'll live in and they will actually eat shit. Um, but, you know, a million a year do kill themselves, so obviously some people have standards, rational standards. But anyway, the point being, um, he doesn't make a counter-argument of any kind, explaining how this was all working out just fine, and, um, you know, because he's comfortable, I guess. So, therefore, it's working. And because most people are religious kooks and believe in absolute babble, um, and say, life is good, therefore life is good. Which is idiotic. I mean, it's just, it it's just doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, uh, he, he basically believes if there was some civilization that molested their children and threw the virgins into the volcano, we'd have to say that's perfectly rational behavior. It's perfectly reasonable, consistent with reality. It makes good sense to molest children and throw them into volcanoes. I mean, it's, that's what I call a non-starter. If that's the premise of your counter-argument that you can make up any preposterous theory and say it's okay because somebody believes it, that's the definition of failure, logically. Um, especially if you're going to do something called defining reality. But anyway, I'm making the counter video, which I don't want to do here. Um, so, Old Fan made another art video, which is good. And, found some good elect electrical um, conduit connectors and such. <laughs> yeah, that's a good find. I'd like to find stuff like that. I need some plumbing. Um, I can't even think of the word. <laughs> plumbing fittings. Uh, yeah, I gotta do some plumbing work. Anyway, um, it's a completely separate subject. <sighs> so much to do. I've got to find my propane canister. Anyway, um, other stuff. Um, yeah, Piro's on the move. He's doing okay, it seems. <laughs> so far, so far, he hasn't driven off a cliff yet. So, I don't know, there's hope, I suppose. Heading for the Grand Canyon, though. So, who the fuck knows what's going to happen. He does get distracted, you know, this kind of guy Piro is. Um, so, you know, and, uh, yeah, I don't know if there's much else this news. 
So, uh, yeah, I don't want to make this too long a video anyway, because the, I do plan on making some long videos. So I feel I'm just going to have this conversation with Hawthorne Day, and I'm going to try to just, you know, I, I mean, it's just, these are, this is the human race. They are, they are, you know, desperate not to um, go um, into the resources, you know, into, the, into places in their brains, <laughs> you know, where they're going to see the truth. You know, they're going to recognize the, the parasitic um, nature of the monster and have to accept the real image of themselves, you know, the Dorian Gray image of what it is to be a, a living thing. And um, I will see if I can convince him to, um, you know, quit looking in his pink mirror and look at the real portrait of the human organism. But anyway, um, I mean, you know, in the end we have to, we do have to argue with all manner of stupid fuck. And uh, he does seem to be a cliche example of stupid fuck. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's just, and yeah, I'm going to try to do it without the commensurate obligation to counter his insults with more insults. Um, but it's just, you know, his argument is just so stupid. He thinks life is complicated. Yeah, he thinks the mechanisms of our creation and the mechanisms of our function is complicated. And you're like, no, it's, it's a mouth and an ass. Yeah, I mean, you know, you make these simple arguments, right? Like the the unneeded need. So make what's your counter argument? Just, just, just you you can stop me from saying the unneeded need by just demonstrating a need that needs to exist. Just show me the need that needs to exist. Show me, and then the argument's over. <sighs> this is so stupid. Um. So yeah, I haven't got to that part in this video yet. You know, I mean, where, where I make this simple, you know, the Venetian argument. And instead of answering that argument, I'm sure he'll just get lost in some sort of convoluted bullshit. And he won't come down to the simple point that, okay, I acknowledge that Venetians aren't necessary. And logically, I can understand that Earthlings aren't any better than the Venetians would have been. So we're totally unnecessary, uh, obviously, also. Um, totally unmissable. <laughs> and there's no harm to us not being here, just like there's no harm in them not being here. And therefore, that seems pretty fail-safe. Seems like a good plan. <sighs> there's nothing else for us to do here, you know, but stick a stick in your eye and then pull the stick out of your eye. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of like the definition of insane and crazy behavior, right? Is somebody who would stick a stick in their eye and then go, ow, and then pull the stick out of their eye and go, oh, that feels better. But that's too simple. Oh, anyway, I'm making the video again. So anyway, yeah, I think that's all I need to report on. I don't know, there's probably some other thing happening, but I don't know, didn't, hasn't doesn't compel much of a response. I did watch Paul Ego's whatever chat room and uh, he's just way too personable you know with people and you know he wants to know well when you know how old were you when you bought your first pair of nylon socks you know I don't know I really I don't really care um, you know this up close and personal shit which I just can't I had to stop watching like you know I, I stopped watching the Olympics because I knew it was crap and I knew sports was crap and so I just stopped for that reason primarily but part of the reason was that it just got so obnoxious because it wasn't about you there, there was no Olympics on the Olympics right there wasn't like people doing sports stuff there was just all this up close and personal shit you know, like, what store does he, you know, buy his underwear at? And I'm, mean, uh, I just don't fucking care. I mean, I just can't. No, I have no interest in that shit. Anyway, I think this video has gone on long enough. 
So I have lots of videos coming though, lots and lots. So some other video I have to do a video about, and some other one, and so I mean I got my work cut out for me. Lots of crap to talk about. So I'll do that. I will get on about to my business.